Countess Samira ist stark und warmherzig und von allen geliebt und lebt nun in Auckland. Nach dem Tod meines Großvaters war Samira zum Mittelpunkt der Familie geworden. Auch ihr Weg hatte sie zunächst in die Sowjetunion geführt. Zuerst lebte Samira in Moskau und Baku. Dann folgten Stationen in Beirut und von dort nach Kuwait. Und wieder zurück nach Beirut, um sich schließlich Ende der 60er Jahre wieder in Bagdad niederzulassen. We, our family, all of us here, consider Samira to be a nearly saint or near holy person. No, I'm not exaggerating. No, no, it, 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 it is the truth. I am not, I, I tell you frankly, I'm frank, frankly, Yani, this is, this is the truth. Uh, this is the truth. Yeah, and for us, she, uh, whenever we have uh, somebody whom we want to, be, uh, we, we want to give an example, we always say, you know, th this was a person, I, uh, in, in my opinion, I am sure everybody here around agrees with. So what we need, once you have a figure, which could be a mother hero figure, which the Arab nation lacks, because it doesn't have a mother hero a figure. Mother. You can bring somebody who is Sami like Samira, to all the women, to all the people in Iraq, and maybe not only in Iraq, in the world, to, make, to show them that we have such a person. And I think that would be excellent. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. She, we all say this. Um, I was talking to Leila, and she said the same thing. <laughs> yeah. Too much. No, that's a good thing, Samira. You know, everybody of us wants to be just, just a good person. You know, that's the aim yeah, we that's what want I to be. Always and we give you the proof. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Habai. She can finish away. I mean, Magda, she's a bad one.